Do you want to use a controller to play Dead Rising 2? I don't blame you. Do you want to enable the controller the easy way? <laughs> no, just kidding. I'll show you how. You should see a link on the screen for a program called X360CE. This is version 2.0.2.62 Beta 2. This version is possibly the only one that works with DR2. I've included the link in the description. Go ahead and download the file and unzip the archive to some place you can find it easily. Using File Explorer, find Program Files x86 or just plain program files if you're using a 32-bit version of Windows. Double-click Program Files and find the Capcom folder. Double-click Dead Rising 2. Copy x360ce.exe to the Dead Rising 2 folder. You may need to authorize the file transfer depending on which version of Windows you are running. Run x360ce and click yes every time it tells you there is a file missing. This will create the file for you. Select controller Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. Don't worry, it works for wired controllers too. Click the load button. Click the advanced tab. Uncheck native mode. Uncheck enable force feedback. Go up and click the options tab. Go to fake WMI and select enable USB. Go to fake DI and select enable callback. Go down and click save. Now you can go ahead and close X360CE if you want. Every time you run the X360CE program, your save setup will be default. I made a shortcut on my desktop for X360CE and placed it beside the Dead Rising 2 shortcut so it's easy to run before launching the game. Now all I need to do is double click X360CE and then double click Dead Rising 2. And I'm ready to enable the controller and play. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this works out for you. Enjoy your game.